Hey Brittany, it's been a while since I have seen you last. Congratulations on on graduating from USF. How are you? I'm doing great. I still don't know what I want to do yet. I can't believe you've been here for 15 years now. How did you decide what you wanted to do? I have always had a passion for cooking and St. Petersburg is where I want to live. You know you should really consider taking over the business. You know this daily like the back of your, your head and I think your dad could use some helping running the place. Why do you say that? Well, there are a few of us who have some great ideas to take the daily to the next level, but our ideas are falling on deaf ears. I know my dad can be stubborn sometimes. Implementing change is never easy, but it is necessary to stay competitive. What kind of ideas do you have in mind? Things in the neighborhood have really evolved over the past 30 plus years and we could do better keeping up with the changing times. Organic gluten and vegan friendly food options are really important to our customers. We haven't changed our menu once since I have been here. Having the culinary training that I do, I know I can create some healthier options if I had more freedom with purchasing ingredients as well as developing new and change menu items. Your dad continues to say, if it, it isn't broke, don't fix it. Updating the menu is certainly something worth considering. Some of my classmates mentioned they're only considering eating at restaurants with vegan friendly options now. You know, dad never has been one to keep up with current trends. <laughs> yeah, you are right, Randy, and just don't often get used in the same sentence. I have always heard Laura mention putting some new paint on the walls to freshen up the place a bit. You know her always thinking about the customer experience. Yes, she really is great at putting the customer and their experience first. She's also men mentioned raising the menu price. She wants to do this to increase her tips and overall this will in turn increase profit for her business as well. She says she has friends who work for nearby restaurants and they are getting paid much more than her. She believes we are producing just as good of quality food. We should be charging higher price. The people will keep coming back. These are all great ideas. I think in the next week or so, we should all put a pool up and talk together to discuss ways to move the business forward.